Welcome viewers. In this video, we will see the coordinate system. In that, there are three types of coordinate system available. Cartesian coordinate, spherical coordinate and cylindrical coordinate system. First, we will see the Cartesian coordinate system. It is also called as a rectangular coordinate system. So, in this coordinate system, the it is represented by x, y, z what we are drawn the graph graph sheet the data are drawn in the graph x x and y axis here we have x y and z three dimensional axis available that is all three are length the three parameter what we are represented as x y z that is nothing but a length right so we'll see the diagram so the consider a point P, X, Y, Z in space at a distance R meter from the origin. So, the, the, we have the three, three axes available, X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Right? In order to represent this X, Y, Z, we consider one point P at a distance R meter from the origin. So, this is nothing but X, Y and Z representing three, three, three different points X, Y and Z. So, corresponding this value will be z into a z that is the unit vector in z axis. The corresponding this value will be y a y unit vector in y axis. The corresponding this value will be x a x that is nothing but unit vector in x axis. So, this will be very similar to the graph what we are drawn that is x y axis here we have x y and z axis all are measured in the terms of length so this r vector can be represented as x a x plus y a y and z a z right this is not a a a y is a z this a x a y a z are the unit vectors this x y z is the component vector so in this entire Cartesian coordinate or rectangular coordinate we are representing x, y, z. This corresponding a, x, a, y, a, z are the unit vectors. Right. Now we will see how to represent the unit vector. You know that unit vector is nothing but vector by scalar. R vector divided by R. So the R vector is nothing but x, a, x plus y, a, y plus z, a, z. So, the scalar is represented as square root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, this unit vector is represented as vector by scalar. In order to represent the differential length, area and volume, we consider a point P, x, y, z that already we considered point P, x, y, z in the rectangular coordinate system. Now, we are going to increase the coordinate system by differential element that is we are going to increase the x by x plus dx y by y plus dy z is z plus dz right it is incremented it is increased by the differential element dx dy and dz so that we can go for calculate the differential area volume and length right now we already considered point x, y, z. Now it is increased into x plus dx, y plus dy and z plus dx. Right? From this, so the differential length is now from point P to point Q. So point Q is the new one by increased by differential element. Right? So based on that, the differential length dl is nothing but dx ax vector plus dy ay vector plus dz az vector right so these are all nothing but incremental element dx dy and dz right while taking modulus it is square root of dx square plus dy square plus dz square that we know very well from this vector we can calculate the modulus of dl so this is the value right so this is a length we are consider x y and z so, while calculating differential area, we need to consider any two element, either x, y or y, z or z, x, right. So, first we consider d, s, z. So, here, here z is there mean d, x and d, y. 
we consider x and y that represent z axis. So, ds z is dx dy into a z vector, unit vector. So, ds x is dy dz into ax. ds y is dz 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 dx into ay. Right? We are multiplying two parameters, x and y, y and z, z and x. Right? So, that because of area, we need to multiply only two elements. So, while going with a differential volume, volume means length, breadth and height. So, we need to multiply all three elements, dx, dy and dz. Right? So, in this coordinate system, we represented x, y, z, normal length. Then we increased into dx, dy, dz. From that, we calculated the differential length, then modulus of differential length and the area by multiplying two parameters, then volume multiplying three parameters right so this x y is at all our length represented as a length right now we'll go to the second coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system right the cylindrical coordinate system represented by r theta and z it's not it's not a r is a row right. row pi and z what is rho rho is the radius that is the length pi is the angle azimuthal angle z is the height right so in this cylindrical coordinate system the two height two length available and one angle is available in the previous system all three are length length parameters right here we have two length available and one angle is available if you want to represent any system with the two length and one angle, we can use this cylindrical coordinate system. That's represented by rho, pi, and z. Right? So that we are can we can represent the system with two length and one angle. Now we'll see the diagram. So this is is x, y, z axis available. So this diagram is drawn as a cylindrical, as a cylindrical form. This is a point P is represented by three parameters one is this angle another one this length rho another one this height z right so it is represented by one angle one length rho and one height z right so we have rho pi and z it is represented by this this point p is represented by these three parameters Now, in order to find the differential length, area and volume, we consider the differential volume element in the cylindrical coordinate system by increasing r pi z into dr d pi dz, right. In order to go for a differential volume, area and length, it is increased by the differential increment dr d pi and dz, right. The volume element become very small. It's shape approaches that of rectangular parallelopiped and it has size side the length of dr or d pi and dz because dr and dz are already length is a length component but d pi is the angle so in order to convert into length it is multiplied by r into d pi so r into d pi is equal to length so this is also length this is also length now pi also converted into length d pi means angle or d pi means equivalent length right now we have three parameters dr or d pi and dz from that we can calculate easily calculate the differential length dl differential length is square root of dr square plus or d pi square plus dz square right so this is length this is length and this is also equivalent to length angle is converted into length so while going with the differential area, it is multiplied by two parameters or dr into d pi, dr into dz, or d pi into dz. So we are multiplying two parameters. While going with the differential volume, we can multiply all these three parameters dr, or d pi, and dz. So while, while volume, we are represented, multiplied all three parameters, right? So, in this cylindrical coordinate system, we have two length and one angle that is represented by length and differential area and volume. 
now we'll go to the third system spherical coordinate system so in the spherical coordinate system what are the things available r theta and pi see this r is the length theta and pi is the angle so one length is available and two angles available so in the first system all three are length in the second system two length and one angle in the third system one length and two angle so any system if you want to represent either length or angle you can choose any one of these three either one length or two length or one angle two angle according to our requirement right so this is spherical coordinate system with radius and two angles right you see the diagram same thing we have the x axis y axis and z axis this point p is located in a spherical form these lines are uh, drawn in a spherical form this point p is located right so that the distance is r so we got one length this angle will be theta this angle where it is cuts here this angle is pi right so the p is nothing but represented by r theta and pi right one length and two angles so this theta will vary from 0 to pi 180 degree but pi will vary from 0 to 2 pi 360 degree entire 360 degree it will vary in order to find the differential volume now this r theta and pi is increased into dr d pi and d theta right so the dr is already length but d pi and d theta are are the angles so that should be represented in the in, in terms of length so that this d pi is nothing but r into d pi r into d theta the r into d theta is equivalent to the length similarly this d pi is converted into r sin theta into d pi so this also now represented as a length so this is also length this is also length this is also length right so we cannot go with a angle so the angle is the equivalent angle is converted into length d theta is r d theta d pi is r sin theta d pi from these three parameter we can easily calculate the differential length volume and area so differential length dl is dr square square root of dr square plus r d theta square plus r sin theta d pi square right so we can find the differential length right all three now become a length parameters the angle these two angles are converted into length while going with a differential area it is multiplied with two parameters r dr into d pi r dr sin theta into d pi or r d theta r sin theta d pi two two elements are multiplied in order to get the area differential area while going with a differential volume it is dr r d pi r d theta r sin theta d pi right so r available two times r square sin theta d theta d pi and dr so here multiplied all three parameters so in the spherical coordinate system it is represented by r theta and pi one angle with one one length and two angles is given by these three parameters right so while comparing all these three you can able to easily understand so in the cartesian coordinate or a rectangular coordinate we have x y z while going with the cylindrical coordinate rho pi and z while going with the cylindrical we have r theta and pi so these three parameters available so the any system according to our requirement we can choose any one of these that will be fit to either length or one two length with one one angle or one length with two angle can be selected now we'll see the transformation we can convert the coordinate system from one coordinate system to another coordinate system in order to go for the further simplification further calculation or further represent representation we can convert from one coordinate system to another coordinate system first we will see the cartesian coordinate system to cylindrical right cartesian mean you know that x y z suppose you are having x y z three parameters are available if you want to convert into cylindrical coordinate that is rho pi and z that is possible how will you convert this rho rho is nothing but square root of x square plus y square say right? by using these three parameter 
these three parameters are represented the right? row is represented as square root of x square plus y square pi is nothing but tan inverse y by x z is taken as it is right? so that from x y z cartesian system we can convert into cylindrical system by using this formula similarly cylindrical to cartesian that is reversed cylindrical we are having rho pi and z from that we can convert x y z how will we convert x is nothing but rho cos pi y is nothing but rho sin pi z is taken as it is right so that we are able to convert cylindrical system into cartesian system we can calculate this x y z by using this formula then another is cartesian to spherical coordinate that is x y z into r theta and pi right this is a cartesian this is spherical how will we calculate r so square root of x square plus y square plus z square how will we calculate theta cos inverse z by r how will we calculate pi tan inverse y by x right so this cartesian can be converted into spherical by using this formula then spherical to cartesian again it is reversed spherical is available r theta pi is available we can convert into x y z right how will you find x x equal to r sin theta cos pi y equal to r sin theta sin pi right z equal to r cos theta so by using this formula r theta pi can be converted into x y z right so the for the further simplification and further calculation we can convert from one coordinate system to another coordinate system also that's equivalent formulas are available